But in relation to the trip, there were really two highlights for me, and, and one was about um, what happened 100 years ago, and one was about the future. And um, on our first day, we visited the Genocide Memorial, and uh, for someone who's been to Yad Vashem in Jerusalem, it was a very similar experience because there is the weight of that horror that descends upon you in the silent moments that you have at that memorial and also at the museum. And um, it would be inhuman to not be moved and touched by that experience. And to have the incredible honour with Tim and John Alexander and Hugh to uh, be the first federal politicians to be able to plant a tree at the memorial um, after Joe Hockey several years ago, um, that was particularly a great honour for, for us as well. Um, but the second thing that struck me about Armenia, uh, and you may not be surprised that a politician will answer it this way, is, is that Armenia has obviously gone through um, some considerable political upheaval over the last two years. And one of the highlights for me was meeting that new crop of politicians that were elected at the last national elections. And it's quite remarkable, 80% of the Armenian parliament are new MPs. The average age, the average age is 35. Uh, so, um, and to meet those politicians and to see the weight of the challenge that they have on their shoulders, particularly rooting out uh, corruption, but also to see their optimism was just so inspiring. And to see those young people in particular taking that such enormous challenge was uh, really something that inspired me enormously and gave me great hope for the future of Armenia. So um, thank you to the ANC for making that visit possible for all of us. It was uh, truly an event that we will never, ever forget.